Hey, what's going on guys? So today's video is going to be my top 10 4Ks that I want that are horror titles and thrillers. So it's gonna be a mix between the thrillers and the horrors together. This is gonna be my personal top 10 uh, 4Ks that I want to come out from the genre. And uh, so everybody's opinion is gonna be different on it. I know some people um, will have their own list. So if you guys want to, you guys can put that in the comments down below and just Name your top 10 horror titles, thriller titles that you guys want to hit 4K. So I'm gonna start from 10 and we'll head to all the way to the first one. Um, so let's get into this and if you guys enjoy this, give it a like, comment on the video, and subscribe to the channel. All right, so first up at number 10, I'm going to put Disturbing Behavior. Uh, this film came out in 1998, uh, starring James Marston. And uh, this, right now, this title is out of print. Uh, Screen Factory has the rights to it, uh, but it's going for like about a hundred dollars So I would like to them for to release another version of this in 4k uh, whether it be a different studio or You know a different um, Company because I don't think uh, Screen Factory would put it in 4k anyway, but uh, this is one of my personal favorites growing up uh, I used to watch this on VHS all the time, and it's just a fun movie if you guys haven't watched it. It's a really good thriller um, pretty much a uh, a principal from a school um, he's taking over the uh, the students and he's kind of like brainwashing them and to make them perfect students but it kind of has like a backdrop to it so you'll kind of see that in the movie um, yeah it's a pretty fun movie if you guys haven't checked it out I would definitely recommend it um, so that's gonna be my number 10 um, number 9 I'm gonna go with bless the child uh, this film came out in 2000 so it's an early 2000 film uh, it stars Kim uh, ba Basinger, and it's pretty much about a young child. I think she's like angelic, and uh, Joaquin Phoenix is actually in this film, and he plays the villain of the film. He's uh, he's like the leader of a satanic cult, and they're trying to hunt down this child. So like the whole movie is pretty much them trying to hunt her down, and I think they have to sacrifice her or something for you know satanic ritual whatever. But it's kind of underrated film. This does not have a Blu-ray at all. So it'd be awesome to see this come to 4K. Um, even if it just gets a Blu-ray release. But uh, if it gets a 4K down the line, that'd be awesome. Um, so yeah, that's going to be my number nine. Bless the child. Uh, number eight, I do have It, the TV series um, with Tim Curry. For me, this, uh, this is what got me into Pennywise growing up. And just like... When they did the remakes, uh, I figured that would be the best time to actually release this one on 4K, but they didn't. So I was kind of surprised when they didn't do that. Um, so I'm hoping Warner Brothers in the future does release this on uh, 4K, which I felt like it has a good chance to um, release on 4K. But I figured they would have done it when the new It got rebooted and they released those on 4K. So uh, knowing how popular that franchise is, I'm sure they're going to release it one day, but it's still on my wish list. So there's It the TV series. Now next up on my list coming in at number seven, End of Days, starring Arnold Schwarzenegger. Now this is another one where he's like fighting against the devil. Um, we have all these Arnold movies coming out in 4K, so I figured this would be an awesome one to throw in there and just seeing Arnold go up up against the devil himself. And it's just a fun, fun time movie. It does have a Blu-ray release. Um, but like I said, I did. I do want this to get a 4K. Probably doubtful would wouldn't get one because I just figured it wouldn't. It's kind of like those titles that are kind of underrated. So, all right, starting at number six is going to be I Know What You Did Last Summer. Now we do have that Amazon TV series going on right now. I figured this would be a good time for them to throw I Know What You Did Last Summer on 4K. Um, I know that over there internationally, you guys got the. Uh, the trilogy set which is awesome so I'm just waiting for us over here to uh, get something cool for I know what you did last summer whether it be a 4k a box set or something for us fans over here um, hopefully that comes soon so definitely a fun underrated slasher uh, so starting at number uh, five I put Jeepers Creepers um, this is another underrated slasher for me I feel like it's starting Jeepers Creepers starting to become popular now um, at first he was kind of underrated, but I think now he's starting to get recognized more. Uh, Jeepers Creepers is a fun movie. Uh, right remember when I was young, it really did scare me when I was like little, but, um, now, yeah, it's just fun slasher movie. 
but I really would benefit the 4K. I, I, I love the movie, the first one, and if they ever did want to do the second one, that'd be awesome as well. But yeah, definitely Jeepers Creepers. All right, so we're going down the list pretty fast. So um, we're gonna go to number four now. And uh, my number four is gonna be House of a Thousand Corpses and The Devil's Reject. I'm gonna put those in together since they're part of the same trilogy. And for me, I feel like we have three from hell on 4K. So I figured why not put The Devil's Reject and The House of the Thousand Corpses as well. And um, you know, those are the most popular ones anyways from that trilogy. So I'm hoping in the future Rob Zombie does put these on 4K. Um, I know he's probably busy with his Universal Monster movie, but uh, hopefully in the future they do that. They've been have Lionsgate, as it Lionsgate, I think they've been releasing like the awesome still books for that as well. But like I said, it's just not, it's just they keep re-releasing Three From Hell and not the actual trilogy. So hopefully in the future we do get that. Uh, that'd be awesome. Uh, this one's probably going to have a lot of people like um, kind of upset, but number three is Bride of Chucky. Now, I would include all the Chucky series in this as a 4K box set. Uh, my favorite one though is, is Bride of Chucky. That's the one I grew up with and it's just uh, holds a nostalgia feel for me. Um, Bride of Chucky is pretty, it's a dark movie, more darker tone. And it has a lot of dark scenes too, so it'll benefit from that 4K. Uh, but yeah, I would love to see Bride of Chucky come to 4K. Uh, they could do a, like amazing still book for that. Maybe like Chucky on the front side and then you got Tiffany on the back side. Um, so that'd be cool to see. I know a lot of people are Bride of Chucky fans and I know there's a lot of people that don't like that movie But like I said, everybody has their own opinion. You guys can comment down below. What's your top 10 list as well? So coming in at number two is gonna be the ring now This does have a blu-ray release. It is kind of going up in price. I see it go for like $30 and Around that range, but I would love to see this come in 4k. This is like an early 2000 movie that um you know, I kind of brought back the horror uh, feel. I know when this movie first dropped, everybody was talking about it. It had a lot of hype around it. Um, and then they even made a spoof on uh, Scary Movie uh, 3 on it. Yeah, Scary Movie 3. But yeah, The Ring would look awesome on 4K. And just to get these, like, um, I know, like, a lot of people are probably thinking, like, on this list is, like, uh, we need a lot of 80 slashers or this and that and we are getting that right now that's why i'm kind of going with more modern titles because i feel like we don't have a lot of modern titles on 4k but yeah definitely the ring is one i do want to see come to 4k uh, maybe with the awesome lenticular like the blu-ray um so that coming in at number one is jennifer's body starring megan fox uh, i think this one it would benefit the 4k also i think it has a big fan base now uh, when this movie first came out it had a lot of uh a lot of people were critical about it. They didn't really like it, but now seeing it again, they probably like, they're starting to like it again. So this is definitely, I believe Megan Fox is one of her best roles. And it's a fun little thriller uh, movie. And she stars as the villain herself. So definitely would wanna see this come to 4K. Uh, I would think they would make a still book with this one as well. But uh, yeah, that's definitely gonna do it guys. Let me know down in the comments down below what would you guys like to see come to 4K. I am going to be doing a different list um, in the future. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, like I'm going to do um, what studios I would want them to release on 4K. So definitely let me know if you guys like this. I did want to do something different instead of just Blu-ray hunting. And I do want to like expand my channel as well. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.